I'm going to play with something called flags and cutters in the Maxwell renderer and I'm using something called the fire renderer in Maxwell which is this window here which is a very fast way of previewing things on the left I have a softbox in front of the softbox I have basically a cutter which is like an opaque rectangle made of dark black material and in front of that is a mannequin and there's a wall on a floor so the um, cutter is so close to the or flag I guess I think it's we call the cutter because of the way it's being used uh, is so close to the softbox that it's casting a very soft shadow and you don't really even notice the difference but if you look at the face of the mannequin you can see that she's relatively dim from uh, her waist up to the top of her head if I take this flag and I shove it away from the um, light like way off to one side you can see the effect that it has on the face of the mannequin is that it got quite bright so the um, cutter kind of has the effect of being a little bit like a, uh, a volume switch on brightness and you can kind of dim hot spots in that way now if I bring the cutter uh, quite close to the mannequin in fact so close that it's passing through the face and I'm gonna back off a bit um, you can see that it casts quite a distinct shadow on the mannequin I'm gonna lift I'm gonna go a little bit further away and a little bit further up and you can see that it's casting a distinct shadow on the head of the mannequin um, if we bring this around like this so it's quite quite a distinct effect uh, and that's because the cutter is close to the mannequin um, if we get quite close there and you can see that it's really blocking a lot of light now again if you if you um, come further away then you get that soft shadow effect again and it just sort of becomes a dimmer in front of the light it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what it's doing now there's another interesting thing that you can do and that is let's say you've got a wider cutter that's like this so it's quite dim with regard to how it treats the mannequin what you can do is you can rotate this cutter in this direction like this so that it's either broadside to the light or edge on to the light when it's broadside to the light you can see it has a dramatically dark effect like that and when it is edge on to the light you can see that it's hardly noticeable and um, you have a continuous degree of sort of ability to finesse that light cutting ability just by rotating the cutter within the softbox